easy mind, easy life. Well, as you can see, the new book has been published and it's called When Love Leaves. Or as my daughter would say, when love, when love leaves, because she thinks the V looks like a V. <laughs> so we had a good giggle about that. <laughs> I said to her, how does that look like a V? But I guess, yes, looking at it, it could be a V. So excited that the new book is out. Oh, there's just so much. I'm just so happy right now. Uh, so many beautiful moments uh, that are shared in that book. So, yeah, I'm just really um, happy. The box came yesterday and um, that's why the videos have been kind of on and off, on and off. <laughs> because uh, once I get uh, guidance, you know, that I have to do something, um, especially when it comes to writing, uh, I always get an urge to do it, like, urgently. Like, there's an urgency when all the information comes in that I need to write something or I need to share something, you know, with the world. And uh, I guess the sense of urgency is, you know, because we don't know when it's our time, you know. And what if this information was exactly, you know, the knowledge that people needed and, you know, well, it would still come out, you know, someone else would still produce it. It's not, um, as I always say to my daughter, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, today I'm, I'm in a different space. I've had a few days after, you know, I finished with all the editing part of the book and we designed the cover with my daughter. For some reason, that one with the feather was our favorite. I just loved it. And it's the first time, but look, you have me on the back. Yay! <laughs> so, um, yeah, I thought I'd put a picture this time so people can see that's actually me. I'm on the book. So that was exciting. But there was, um, you know, after I wrote it and it, the process was finished, there's always like an emptiness. It's like this outpouring of information. You know, there's this download that I get and it comes out and it goes onto the paper, you know, onto the page. And then it feels like, when it, the process is done and it's finished and I've been told that's the last stage, right? And I'll be receiving the book soon. There's always like an emptiness that happens after. Like I'm empty again. Uh, it's hard to explain. Um, but yeah, there were a few days, you know, where I was saying to my friend Raphael, which I've talked to you about him before. He's an amazing Reiki healer in South Australia. And... I was talking to him and I was saying to him, I had a sense of, you know, at the end of it, like, what's the point? You know, like what, I had this sense of meaninglessness, like nothing means anything, like there is no point to anything. You know, I just had this, I was kind of like floating along in this little way for a while, you know, of what's the point? <laughs> Um, it doesn't mean anything. What does it mean? You know, I just, um, I fell into that funk for a little while, you know, and uh, yes, there, there is no point. You know, we are here to experience and, you know, your soul already has the plan of what it is that it wanted to experience. And it's really just getting in touch with that part of yourself, you know, that's inside of you. And this last book, I'm hoping, will really, really point you in that direction, you know, of going inwards, of really looking inside. The first book is really my experiences, my life. Um, it's kind of my autobiography, if you like. But there, in that book, we're still coming from ego we're still looking at the world from outside of us uh, what I love about the first book is that it really walks you through how to forgive and how to have compassion for others you know that beautiful understanding of uh, it was never about you you know what when you came into the world you were this beautiful love and light but you came into other people's lives that had already had decades and decades of experiences and some good and some not so good you know but these people when you come into their lives what we call parents they're already at a certain point in their lives you know um 
they've already strayed from love for the most part you know most of us do not walk into uh parents that are in a loving space you know uh and that creates our journey into life you know but the first book the beauty of it is to look at you know the fact that it was never about you you know your parents were already in that space <laughs> before you even came and so you were an opportunity when you came when you were born for these adults to remember the love that they are that was the reason that you came you were a gift to them that they may wake up and remember that they are the love the same love that they're holding in their hands this tiny little baby that's looking at them it's just pure love and pure light they are that as well and they have a chance when you're born to remember that you know to go back to the love that they are as well but for many of us you know our souls that's not what this journey is about it's not about remembering yet it came to experience other things you know and so we have to respect others we don't need to understand their journey we just have to respect that that is what they're here for you know it's not about us understanding it even if it's our actual partner that we live with you know our husbands our wives our you know boyfriends girlfriends the people that you share your life with no matter how many years you might be together with that person you know their journey is still their own they still have their own experiences that they came to have and some of them they share with you because you are together sharing a life together but not all of their experiences are going to be what you came to experience and so that's where you divert sometimes you know so yeah as i completed this book i just had so much gratitude for my husband and uh thinking you know we've nearly been together for 30 years and it seems like a long time and yet i still remember when we first hooked up you know <laughs> and we were so young but my gratitude for him was more about the fact that the first book happened because of something he said you know and he's always pushing me you know to look outside the box you know to not just take things at face value as what they show up as but to you know look outside of that always he's always pushing me to look outside and that book came about because he asked me the question are you still looking at your mother like you're five years old it was one simple question and it stayed in my mind and it brewed and it brewed and it brewed you know like coffee percolating in there for months until one day I, I, I understood the question I understood what he asked me you know and from there was that that was born you know because I just started to look for answers I needed to know you know why I was stuck way back there at the age of five why was I still stuck there I needed to understand it I needed to know why and, uh, and the truth is that until you actually look at it you'll find in your life you have certain patterns that keep repeating you can change your job you'll go to another job but then the issues you were having in the first job somehow seem to follow you to whatever other job you have after partners you'll change partners and whatever issues you were having with the first partner you'll find that they chase you with each partner that you have after that and so it goes you know um you can travel the world go from place to place to place to place and you'll find that the patterns stay intact and that's because we place them there in childhood we place those patterns there because they were the life lessons that we came to experience and it's really uh it's really quite beautiful how it all comes together you know when you understand it that that's how it was meant to be you know and that everything that has shown up in your life was meant to be there it's not an accident it's not coincidence and it's not bad luck 
There is no such thing. You were meant to have that experience. And when you really start looking at why, why was I meant to have that experience? What was my soul trying to learn from that? What experience am I trying to get out of that? What lesson? Then you're on the right path, you know? Oh, forgiveness, oh, compassion, oh, kindness, oh. They're the things that we're here for. It's what we're truly here for. That's the point. All right, my darlings. I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.